Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Uh, my, I've done two Dimash reactions so far. And uh, in the comments, you know, I, I actually in my live when I did uh, two of my Dimash reactions, uh, I believe I haven't posted it yet. I have to think about that for a second. But um, I actually said that, you know, he would probably be able to do that diva dance from Fifth Element. And somebody in the chat said he has. So I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I'm a big fan of Fifth Element. I'm a big fan of that song. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, if you haven't seen the movie, but the singer of this portion of the movie that does the song is an alien. So one of her alien powers, if you want to call it, is she has like crazy octave range. And in the movie, they had to modulate the vocals. I'm assuming Dimash doesn't do that. So this is going to be super interesting to see this. And I'm a, like I said, I'm a big fan of this song just from the nostalgia point of it. Um, but I'm excited to get into it. For those of you that are new to the channel, what we do here is we listen to the song or watch the video. I will interrupt here and there where I think is important. And then at the end, we talk about the message. We talk about the music. YouTube members and are live as well as my Patreon. Um, cool perks there and cool perks on both of those are equal. They include uh, member shout outs. Early access to certain videos just like this one. Exclusive videos made specifically for the members. Uh, and other cool perks like that. Moving forward, uh, I will do one video a month probably where I include some of my paid members on the channel, on the videos, and we will react together to some of these, uh, you know, some of these videos and talk about it. So that's a really cool thing is you can actually be included in my videos. Um, obviously it'll be all virtual through discord or, or something like that. Um, but that's a really cool thing. Uh, I may in the future, probably maybe next year, I let you guys know for all of you who are members of my YouTube, I might start moving everybody over to Patreon for reasons that I will let you know at a later date. But for right now you can join either one and that's super helpful. Uh, like I said, all the content there is the same. All right. Now that that's out of the way, um, I want to get into this. I'm super, super excited for this. Uh, Again, this is Diva. This is Diva Dance. Uh, hello. Oops. This is Diva Dance by Dimash. Uh, I believe this is a. Uh, what do you call it? This is somebody else's YouTube, but uh, has 2.6 million views. So, anyways, let's go about. Go ahead and let's do this. And here we go. Make sure this is all good. Alright, here we go. Nostalgia. He did it. Uh, I remember I just watched this the other day, this portion of Fifth Hamlet, just to prepare for this. Um, I know in the original here, there I was wondering if he's going to do it. There's like a slide up to the uh, up to that high note. A lot of what's cool about this song is it's very staccato. So there's no like lead in or, or slowly leading into notes except for that one's portion. It's all like you have to hit that note exactly. So besides the fact that there's this huge octave range, um, there's also this, you have to be accurate with the notes that you're hitting. Uh, so it, this is probably one of the more difficult songs. Uh, it's been pretty much impossible <laughs> for anybody to sing until Dimash came around. So there's one YouTuber who did pretty good. She couldn't hit, I think there was one note she couldn't hit, but anyways, I want to go back a little bit and hear that slide again. Super low. Let's go back, sorry.
It's it's <laughs> I want to hear all those notes again because this is one of the parts that's like there's runs but you it's a run but you're hitting specific notes. He goes through two octaves there. Crazy. I want to hear those kind of runs at the end, and then I'm going to talk about that last, the, <laughs> I can't do it, but the kind of staccato singing at the end. By the way, this here is, is extremely obvious that he has a perfect pitch because to hit those notes on time takes control, but, uh, he, he it would bother him so much that if those notes didn't hit and uh it's not like he's sort of hitting the note and kind of wavering it's perfect even with the vibrato it's perfect on there um and i know i've mentioned on some of my other one of my other videos that only the members can see but um in the studio stuff there is some auto tune on Dim dimash's vocals which is why i love these live versions because there's not Dimash doesn't need it, guys. He does not need it. We all know he has this crazy octave range. He hits notes perfectly. Uh, I don't know if it's for artistic purposes or just the producer wants extremely clean, ac accurate vocals because it is Dimash. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but uh, it's definitely there in the produced version. That's why I like the live version of Dimash because I know it's him. And he don't need it. He doesn't. And it's, it's a, this is incredible. And it's not like he's singing it either, right? It's not like he's... I'm not going to even try to hit the notes. It's not like it's just a slide down. There's little tiny, tiny silent stops between each note. It's, it's, I want to talk about that this part coming up, but for that slide up... It's literally like, I don't know if you guys have ever had like an actual like keyboard, but they have these little slides on the side to change the pitch. It's almost like you're hitting this key and then you're just. That's what it sounds like because there's no wavering again. It's perfectly the same length of, of you know, sound, same breath, same everything for each for the whole thing. This staccato thing. He's playing percussion with his vocals, right? And I know that's in the original, but he's playing percussion with that vocal. But the length of each note is exactly the same. It's perfect on time. It's perfect pitch. It's perfect uh, note. It's perfect everything. It's just perfect. Bruh. Uh, I mean, I knew what I was getting into, but with the mash, you don't really know what you're getting into. Uh, 
that's insane. I, I really do think that uh, in terms of technique, that Dimash is probably unmatched and probably the best singer out there when it comes to technique wise. It's not even a contest. You have the, what is it, the eight octave range? You have, he can sing in multiple languages. The control he has over his voice because he has perfect pitch is literally unmatched and all of that stuff. Um, I think with the technical aspect can sometimes come, uh, how do I put it? Uh, I'll, I'll use Polyphia as an example who have been on this channel. Um, they're an instrumental band that's super technical. They're always making sure that they're on time. They're always making sure that they're together. Everything is really technical. That's why it's called math rock. It's very technical. A lot of people say they don't like Polyphia because with all that technicality and all of that, that skill, basically showing off of skill, you lose the soul of it. There's no feeling that goes into it. And without getting into that debate here, I disagree. Um, but I think that kind of turns people off to people like Dimash, pe bands like Polyphia, is because the technicality people think takes the soul out of it. And I can see that, honestly. I understand it. But for me, I think the amount of work it takes to get this good at what you do, it takes a lot of soul, it takes a lot of dedication. And you can see him on stage feeling what he's singing. That's where the soul comes from. So that I'll debunk that, <laughs> but I, I can understand why this might not be for everybody. But I really enjoy it. I really love seeing Dimash just like flex on all of us <laughs> with his vocals. Uh, that's insane, that's insane. I really enjoyed this one. Um, all right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below what you thought of my reaction to this song, what you think of Dimash and just this song in general. I really do like this song a lot. Um, I appreciate the support, and please do remember that good vibes are contagious.